Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic virtualization and hypervisors in cloud computing. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in cloud computing and you want to learn about it. So let's start friend. Friend, first of all we have to understand that what is cloud computing. Whenever we talk about cloud computing basically we are talking about a remote service or remote location at which the different services like software, hardware, uh, database, uh, infrastructure, platforms, so all those types of services are available remotely and you are using those services through internet accessibility. So that is basically the core concept of cloud. So rather than hosting all these services, all the things on premises like on your own location, we used the remote server to uh, utilize the services. Now uh, when we talk about virtualization and hypervisor basically they play a crucial role in cloud computing and enabling efficient resources utilization scalability flexibility and it plays a facilitation role for uh, for the users as well so first we will talk about in detail virtualization actually what is virtualization friend, uh, friend virtualization is basically the process of creating a virtual thing rather than an actual version of something such as an operating system, a server, storage device, a network resource. I'm sure friend that uh, if you belong to an uh, IT person like for example you are a person who belong to IT uh, domain, you have definitely created the virtual machines like for example you are uh, uh, like you are using a machine at which the Windows operating system is installed. So you can create a virtual machine uh, VM on the same uh, machine but it basically a separate it will become a separate machine on the same machine that is basically the called as the concept of virtual machine or VM. So a friend in the context of cloud computing server virtualization is particularly very common like we can create VMs or virtual machines that is basically the main concept of virtualization here first uh, we can talk about server virtualization uh, in traditional computing <coughs> a physical server runs on a single operating system and host uh, specific applications like for example you are running uh, on a Windows machine okay and it hosting a, a server of double uh, is and uh, different applications like web applications are using the server with server virtualization a hypervisor is used to create multiple virtual machines VMs on a single physical server <coughs> each running its own operating system and application this allows better utilization of hardware resources and isolation of workloads so now what happened actually friend when we create virtual machine like you can create three virtual machine and these three virtual machines will be used for three different purposes and each virtual machine is isolated with the other virtual machine like if there are three virtual machine uh, A, B, C for example so these three machines are basically using for different purposes and all these three machines are isolated with each other as well and all these three resource, uh, machines are hosted or available on one virtual on one physical machine so now the benefits of virtualizations are uh, first is the resource utilization means that the multiple VMs or virtual machines can run on a single physical server optimizing hardware usage like you don't need a different physical server you only need a physical server and you can create multiple virtual machines on the same physical server that will basically uh, basically a very good thing for resource utilization then isolation means the virtualization provides isolation between VMs improving security and stability means that every VM is isolated with the uh, other VM machine that means if there are three machines VM so these three are totally independent with each other okay so uh, whatever the software is running on uh, like for example a VM, VM so at the B VM it doesn't know that which software is running on a machine okay so that is basically the concept of isolation then uh, flexibility means VMs can be easily created deployed moved between physical servers enhancing scalability and flexibility 
like you just simply uh, create it very easily there is no uh, basically uh, problem in creating the VMs and you can also deploy it create it move it so it's very very easy of uh, creation and movement now we can talk about hypervisor hypervisor also known as a virtual machine monitor VMM uh, it is a software or a hardware component that manage and facilitate the creation and operation of virtual machine simply friends see uh, the virtualization means creation of virtual machine now how will you create the virtual machine to create a virtual machine you need a software so that software is basically the hypervisor so there are two types of hypervisor uh, one, uh, first one is the type 1 hypervisor that is called as bare metal hypervisor uh, it, which is basically um, uh, type 1 hardware uh, hypervisor run directly on the physical hardware without the need for an underlying operating system okay so that means uh, 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 that means it, there is uh, it is directly talking directly communicating with the physical hardware then because they operate closer to the hardware okay so type 1 hypervisor are open often considered more efficient more fast and are commonly used in enterprise environmental and data centers why because they are directly talking uh, with the uh, with the system examples are uh, vmware esxi microsoft hyper uh, v when installed as a standalone without uh, windows operating systems then next is the type 2 hypervisor hosted hypervisor uh, type 2 hypervisor run on top of an existing operating system turning it into a platform for virtualization they are easier to set up and can run on a variety of host operating systems uh, however they are not so much fast as the type of type 1 hypervisor the examples are vmware workstation okay oracle virtual box so all this is the called as type 2 hypervisor i'm sure friend that if you belong to an it field definitely you will definitely get a chance to install or make a uh, vm machine a vm workstation hypervisor functions friend hypervisor manage and allocate physical resources like cpu memory storage and among virtual machines uh, they ensure that each VM operates independently preventing interference between different workloads and hypervisor handle the creation deployment and removal of uh, virtual machines uh, then friend cloud computing and uh, virtualization means cloud computing provides use virtualization to offer virtualized resources uh, to users on a pay as you go model virtualization allows for dynamic scaling where additional virtual resources can be provisioned or deprovisioned based on demand virtualization enable multiple users tenants to share the same physical infrastructure while maintaining isolation